Should you pay for parking in Prescott? The small river town brings in thousands of people throughout the summer, and city leaders want to cash in. Jennifer Hoff is in Prescott, where people who live there are fired up about the proposal. Nestled right on the river, Prescott is a popular place in the summer, leading to what the city council says is a parking problem. Yeah. But so not if, if you ask business owner rules, Matt Bronk. You know, it's really only a couple hours, a couple days, a couple months of the year that we're that busy. The rest of the year, we're, it's a struggle. Bronk points to the free parking lots and two hour time limits that already exist. When you come up, please. Council members instead proposing a paid parking plan to cut down on congestion and better handle the more than 400 spaces one residence railed against at Monday's meeting where it was standing room only. From a growth standpoint, is this going to help? Probably not. The city could start charging $1.50 every hour as soon as October for people who don't live here. Leaving it up to police to scan license plates in pay station databases, the city says will increase turnover and add $75,000 a year revenue for public services like parks and Wi-Fi. And I'm not paying big city prices, and my friends are not paying big city prices. We are a small town. Let's keep it small townish. Some residents even still offered solutions from boat slip fees to meters for a dilemma most say doesn't even exist. I really truly believe this is a bad investment for Prescott. The city council says that it plans to take this public comment session into consideration and that it hasn't made any decisions on the proposal just yet. Although it does plan to take it up at its next council meeting on September 11th. In Prescott, Jennifer Hoff, CARE 11 News.